So this story started nine years, 364 days ago. Um, that was the night before. The morning after, I woke up to the sound of my phone ringing and not having a clue where I was. I looked over at my phone and I saw the caller ID and it was my wife at the time. I knew things were bad. I knew things hadn't ended up the way they were supposed to because rather than being home, I was in some hotel in Philadelphia for all I knew. So I answer the phone to a rather irate woman on the other end of the line. And she says, where the hell are you? And being the ever humble man that I am, I looked over at the room service thing and saw Courtyard Marriott and arrogantly answered, I'm at the Courtyard Marriott. <laughs> no clue how I got there. After that, there was just a prompt hang up. And I looked around the room, surveying, trying to figure out what had happened, how I had gotten there, and everything was blurry. And I realized at that point in time I had taken my contacts out. And obviously I'm in a hotel room and um, probably wasn't prepared to take my contacts out. So I look around the room and I go into the bathroom and I see two cups there that are filled with what I can only imagine are saliva, which is indicative of the quality of choices I was making at this time in my life. So I put those disgusting, bacteria-laden contacts in my eye. Yeah, yeah, that was great. So I, uh, I get myself together as much as I can get myself together. And I'm still buzzed from the night before, but I don't even know if you can call it buzzed. I just felt like empty. I just felt horrible. And I went downstairs and it was early enough that unfortunately the uh, person that was behind the desk that I was gonna go turn the keys in was the woman that had taken pity on me the night before. Because see, the night before, I was so drunk, I was walking around the city that no one would even give me a hotel room. I walked to, from what I can remember, five or so hotels, and then eventually this woman, this woman took pity on me and gave me a room. And I saw her face, and, and it was a combination of, of love and just concern and just pity for a stranger. And, and I, I looked at her, and I just knew that I knew that this morning was going to be different. So I was at the Courtyard Marriott, which is right by City Hall. And I'm walking out at I don't know, 9 a.m. in the morning. And I walk out into the heat of July. And I see, I see people going to wherever they're going. And, and I see everyone just moving about. And I just felt like the world was going on around me rather than going on with me. And I didn't know at that point in time, I had no idea how I was going to get back into that world, how I would be able to you know, take, be a part of rather than a spectator of. And that, that morning, I, I walked down Broad Street because I had to go find my keys at the house that I was at the night before. And as I was walking down Broad Street, I gave up. I gave up. I knew I couldn't do it anymore. I knew I couldn't have any more morning afters like this because I just didn't have it in me. And at that point in time, I gave up. And I've never had to have another morning after like that. And tomorrow, that will be 10 years ago. Oh, wow. And my life's pretty amazing now. 